Hi, I'm Paweł Spechalski and in my humble opinion now in the 2021 the ESP32 base development boards are probably the most interesting boards on the market. Yes, I know Arduino is official, Arduino is trying very hard to catch up what ESP32 and Chinese manufacturers are producing as far as well as Adafruit and other respectable years ago, not only years ago, but also right now, manufacturers of the development hardware compatible with the Arduino. However, really right now ESP32 does amazing job. In this video, in just a moment, as soon as I will move the camera to my desk, I will show you a board that to some extent really blew my mind because it's ESP32 and it has 4.7 inch paper display. How cool is that? What I want to show you today is both the hardware and the software I'm just holding in my hands. Let's begin with the hardware because what you will see right now is the 4.7 inch quite nice e-paper display nice to which you can connect the touch layer but it's not present in this hardware as I'm showing to you which is based on the ESP32 and that means that it has Wi-Fi, it has Bluetooth, really a lot of processing power and a lot of nice goodies that come with the ESP32. A place for the 18650 lithium charging unit, a few buttons you can use as you want as well as uh, external connection ports which cost guess how much this board costs on the aliexpress when ordered single unit how much how much would you pay for something like that 30 40 50 bucks no i paid 27 american dollars with this really honestly super nice hardware with the usb c port over here and for the price it's amazing thing what you can do for the price with the 4.7 inch e-paper display by the way this thing hardware comes from the Liligo and if you're looking for interesting ESP32 boards just search for the Liligo or TTGO TTGO yes TTGO and then there is this software part of the project uh, which also is as much interesting as the hardware itself. The project itself is called the OWM Weather Display and is based on the uh, Open Weather Map project which provides open and free information about the weather data all around the world that you can download from the GitHub as the open source project which I see is probably licensed under the well, there is no license, so we can uh, assume this is the GPL. Compile by yourself on your Arduino, uh, using the Arduino uh, IDE or Visual Studio Code and flash to this thing. Honest, in the beginning I wanted that, okay, I will get this board, maybe I will write something, it will be super nice uh, thing to use. But when I flash this software for the from the guy called G6 AJD. The link to the project is in the description. I said that no, this thing stays on my desk as my weather information center of how amazing the project is. By the way, it uses of course the Wi-Fi to connect to your local network and get every 30 or an hour uh, current weather information for exactly your location from the open weather map and uh, yeah it just sits on my desk showing me what's the weather today and how the weather will look like tomorrow and in the next few days yeah really 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 amazing the links to the hardware and to the software is in the description of the video the compilation of the code let's be honest took me quite a while because of the missing dependencies and the libraries and stuff like that but after i updated the esp32 core for the arduino everything started to work just fine so at least this problem uh, is solved 
And uh, and what? I think that's all for today. I really do like what this thing offers and how it's working. That's all for today. Until the next one. Bye bye.